Hi, this is David Dow from LA Budo Martial Arts. Just got back from my uh, run on the beach. And I was originally going to call this uh, video series uh, My Dietary Chronicles. But I got a flyer last week from uh, a Muay Thai organization. On, they're doing a bout next month in uh, Van Nuys. And even though I've been doing Muay Thai for about five, six years, I've never entered a bout. This is amateur, of course, um, so it's fully padded, even though it's full contact. And uh, I just thought it'd be a really goal, good goal to set because it will get me my physical body back where I want it to be, um, and also get make me a good bump in my martial arts skills. Because I noticed uh, when I was doing jujitsu regularly, and I did my first jujitsu tournament, uh, it really bumped my skills a level. And when I did a few more, same thing, my skills kept getting better more so than just training in the schools. Um, also, I was with an uh, evil empire for about 16 months, and I getting really out of shape. Um, I'm, I was hardly training in martial arts and I was um, not very happy where I was personally and also professionally. So I think this is a way to uh, help me right the ship out of my, martial, my personal martial arts skills because uh, I've, over the last few months I've been writing the school to put it where I want it to be. A good integral, ethical um, martial arts school that teaches uh, practical martial arts and the kids and also adults have a lot of fun. Um, I'm really happy with our physical curriculum and uh, I'm really de developing a much deeper character development curriculum and leadership training. Uh, we're working on um, some implementing some uh, project-based leadership. We're also uh, right now working on trying to do 10,000 acts of ran random acts of kindness in the community. So we're really trying to be a anchor in this community as opposed to just trying to sponge off of it. So really help everybody in the community. I'm also doing um, a after school program for Juan Cabrillo, trying to raise some money for them. And uh, working with a couple Girl Scout troops, so I'm really happy with all of that. So this, the business is going in the direction I want it to right now. And I hope uh, the students, and especially any students who are watching, are enjoying uh, some of the new changes I've implemented. But I also feel that uh, this goal I'm gonna set of uh, competing my first Muay Thai bout is to um, the power of goal setting. Because I've got to do a lot to get ready for it. I've got to make sure I, with no excuses, do my uh, morning and evening run. I got to do, get my bag work in, um, footwork drills, in addition to regular training. Um, plus I also have to run the school. So I'm gonna have to really focus. I'm gonna have to get my diet aligned and perfect. Um, and I'm gonna journal all of this for myself and also for the students and any, Anybody else watching out there that might want to learn from uh, this goal I'm setting? Uh, maybe it'll help them get achieve their black belt or some, uh, weight loss goal, something that they're trying to, um, some goal they're trying to achieve. I'm also going to highlight some uh, different tools I use um, for um, setting goals or and some specific to training and or um, um, dietary and working out. I'm going to chronicle all my workouts and uh, my training regime in that, so anybody wants to use it, or just as a blueprint to, for whatever their goals might be. Um, so I'm really excited about this, and I'm, I'm gonna be training with some of my students who are also gonna be entering in the bout. Um, I actually haven't told uh, either of my Muay Thai instructors yet, I've decided. Um, even though I own the school here, I train under a couple people. Um, I'm gonna be telling them, hopefully before I put the video up, <laughs> I think that'd be the best thing to do. But, um, so, Welcome on my, to my journey.